Hey guys, what's up? Today we're here in the shop and I'm answering a question for somebody that doesn't want me to mention their name because they're embarrassed about the question that they're asking. I tell people all the time there is no such thing as a dumb question because we weren't born knowing everything, especially for a lot of the folks that are getting into the off-road world now. They've never owned an ATV or a side-by-side -side and they just aren't sure about everything that's going on in the market and how to use it. And one of those questions being, Whenever you're securing your ATV or side-by-side -side to the trailer, can I use my winch to cinch it down in place and will that be good enough to hold my vehicle in place while I'm going down the road? Or can I just do this in the front, maybe put a strap on the back? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one better. We're gonna go back to a while ago whenever we had Nick Adamy from Warren Industries on our Live Talk Tuesday show. Now Nick's been with Warren for 24 years. He is a winching expert and we talked about this very subject here. So we're gonna go to Nick and see what he has to say about it. The whole issue with using it as a toe strap or using it as a tie down is uh, the shock load that that puts on the drivetrain. So if you can imagine, um, you put your ATV on there and you cinch it down with the winch. As you're going down the road, your suspension continues to move. And so as you hit loads, it puts that shock load on it. And what it really does is it can go it could put a shock load on the drivetrain of up to five times of the normal capacity of the winch. And our winches are not designed for mm -hmm. those kind of shock loads. They're designed for a progressive load. So this, tr this drivetrain, which is out of a 4,500, can absolutely handle that load, but it's got to be progressively put on there as you're pulling. It's not designed to handle a shock load. Mm -hmm. So if you use it as a toe strap, you're putting a shock load on that. So if you can imagine... This is where the drum goes on. You've got your motor over here. You've got a drive shaft right here. What happens is that as that shock load is going on here, it's basically being transferred all the way back to what we call the first stage. So you have your first stage, your second stage, and your third stage. The first stage is where the drive shaft comes through and you've got a sun gear right here. This is what drives the first stage. The first stage drives the second stage. Second stage drives the third stage. This is where a lot of the winch load is. Mm -hmm. So we designed the third stage to handle all that load when you're winching. Mm -hmm. The problem is, mm -hmm. is that when you put that shock load on it, you're putting it through the first stage. So look at how much smaller the first stage is. Mm -hmm. The first stage isn't designed to handle that load. It's just there to transfer okay. the power here. Mm -hmm. So what usually happens is this little sun gear right here will come apart. Once that comes apart, it gets into the drivetrain. But we've also seen it happen here, and we've also seen it happen to the gear housing. And it's all because you're you're putting that load on Jerking it. Jerking it, yeah, shocking that's it. like a, a torsional load on that, and mm -hmm. it, it will blow them apart. So that's why we don't recommend it. You and I have both seen vehicles come off trailers because mm -hmm. the winch let go because mm -hmm. the gear train blew apart. Well, I'm pretty sure that Nick answered everybody's question there on whether or not you can use your winch to secure your ATV or side-by-side -side to your trailer when you're going down the road. If y'all got any more questions, feel free to hit me up. We'll see y'all. Take care. Have a good one.